about writing your story and your book and some of the common things that get in the way when you're writing your book some of the blocks the things we tell ourselves when you have a story something of inspiration that you want to put into the world and you're like I don't know so I'm lighting my candle isn't this beautiful this was just part of my Valentine's Day gift this live is going to be phenomenal for you I have every intention of that happening and I'm gonna share with you some reasons why I wrote books and uh, it's not so pretty not always and how you can avoid the mistakes that I've made and then how I'm gonna help you how I want to support you to move through that in um, next week we're opening up we're not opening up we're starting enrollment is open right now for the Empire Builder this is um, really a place for you if you have a book inside of you or a program inside of you that you want to share with the world or you want to get up on stage and put together a signature speech but maybe you have so much information so much wisdom inside of you and so many big ideas you're not quite sure where to start I know that's where I was uh, a couple years back um, this is going to be the program for you it's also one you can revisit time and time again after you take it and you know plug in another formula plug in the program maybe so first time through you might do your book and then you might decide that you want to add a program to that book or you want to add uh, another piece to your book books don't have to always go along with um, some big coaching thing which um, I talk a lot about right because I train coaches and it doesn't have to go along with um, your story or something that you went through or some big um, reveal it doesn't always there's so many different types of stories I write really reality based books with people and how to take your life your life experiences and turn them into something amazing now I did have a client who his passion is writing children's books and he wrote many of them and he does illustration and all of that and and I helped him get writing again. We helped him get back into the swing of things to put together the short stories and the creative stories for the kids. However, when it came to um, how to do that, I really referred him to more support around that particular field and getting together with a men's writing group or maybe it wasn't men's, maybe it was just all, I think it was all men, but I think that was kind of by accident, I don't know. And, um, and, and from there he went forward, right? We just did the breakthroughs. So common things that hold you back from sharing your story. One is the overwhelm. So many ideas, so many things that you can teach about, so many passions. I work with multi-passionate entrepreneurs and we have so many interests, so many passions, so many life experiences that we sometimes can get overwhelmed by that. This is really normal, it's really natural. And so how you get past it is you really can choose today the one thing that just lights you up, right? Lights you up to write about, to think about, to expand upon in your life and focus on that one thing. The other thing that you can do is write on a, um, using story format, write on the multitude of those multi-passionate topics and how they interplay, how they interweave, how you've interweaved them into your life to create your formula. Hi, Lisa. I can see you, but please say hi, guys. Say hi, make sure that I can see the, um, the, the thing. So we're talking about books, writing your book, and different forms of books today. The next thing that blocks you is, is like the technical stuff. Like who's gonna publish it? The old paradigm of going to a publisher where they pay you a, a fee to hi they pay you a fee to write your books so you have living expenses you have things done um, that's 
totally doable. It's absolutely doable. Um, however, the competition is really high because more and more people are writing books. There's more and more ways to publish and promote and get your books out into the world. And so to really make your book work for you, we'll get to this in a minute, it's important to know why you're writing the book and what you want to do with it. So we have the different publishing options. Not knowing what to do with that and which options write for you and how to go about doing that is a big stopper for a lot of people. Knowing how to put together a presentation where you go in and you pitch your book and you come back and the publishing company hires you and you write the book and then you get a little bit of the royalties on the back end. Then on the other side, you don't get anything on the front end. You write the book yourself, you, you know, cross your fingers and hope that it's the right book. And then you publish it yourself or through a self-publishing agency and it's like, <gasps> Am I doing this right? And there's a lot of hustle in the back end. And so I'm gonna talk about, especially in the Empire Builder Rising Star program that's starting next week, we're gonna talk about like how to make that model work for you instead of you working for it. Then there is the model of um, kind of doing a hybrid of those where you might hire a firm to do your branding to make sure that your cover works for you. You make sure that um, they promote it and they work the system so you can get all the accolades, whether it's New York on the New York bestseller list or the Amazon bestseller list or both, ideally. And what that looks like and how to do that. And you can do that now as self-published, meaning that you get more of the royalty as your book sells. Then there's the whole branding behind it, right? So that stops a lot of people. I don't know how to get out there. I don't know how to speak. I don't know how to do this book promotion. How am I supposed to do that? All of that we're going to cover. I'm going to talk more about signature speeches and how to use them and how to use them for your book as well as your programs um, another day this week. And it's definitely going to be covered in the Empire Builder Rising Star formula because how you learn how to speak is is huge to the success of anything that you do, whether it's putting together a program or putting together a book. So I'm gonna to talk today about some of the things that made my books successful and some of the things that made my books not so successful and some of the reasons why I wrote that actually, um, okay. So some of the other things, the more personal things that stop us from writing our book, especially in the personal development industry, in the, the entrepreneur world and in the coaching world, is the thought that we have to tell our story. So I want to debunk this today in a really big way because focusing on my story for so many years and not what I know, not my genius, really, really, really um, hindered me from not only making impact. I know that I inspired many people. I've gotten the emails and the accolades and the notoriety to prove it. Um, but it didn't financially help me at all. And it didn't motivate them to take action. And it, I attracted not the wrong community, but a community that wasn't ready to step into where I am and where I was. Okay, even three, four years ago. So I'm going to talk about how I used my story incorrectly and when it was appropriate to use my story, when my story and why writing your story can truly, truly transform your life, but what to expect. I'm going to debunk this like belief that it's going to be this massive money maker because in all honesty, books are not massive money makers unless they're like seriously like you have 
you're writing book after book after book after book after book and you're out there speaking and promoting and speaking and promoting and working your book. When you're working your book, your book can be a... So hello, whoever just joined, please say hi. Let me know that you're here. Um, but when you are working your book, they can work for you. But if you want to write a book for the masses to use, for people to be able to get to, for people to be able to see, then you need to be very, very strategic about how you use it and use it more like an invitation to get to know you, more like a love letter to your ideal client, all right? More like a love letter to your ideal customer, more like a love letter to the people that you want to surround yourself with. And that's when your story, right? Not your mission that I talked about yesterday in the webinar, but your story can truly, truly, truly um, confuse people. I think confuse is the best way to express what happened to many of my clients because I are the people that read my book. I got wonderful letters of thank you for being an inspiration, which in my heart, that place of notoriety is, is huge. That place of impact is huge to me. And when I was in a marriage that afforded me to do that, then it was beautiful. But once I was out of that marriage, which I wrote most of my books in the marriage, but once I was out of that marriage, what I noticed is I couldn't use my books to really share my genius. And my genius is what people hire me for. Is this all making sense? Can you guys give me some thumbs up or comments? Do you have any questions thus far on um, what I'm talking about? Do you have anything that you know might be blocking you from sharing your story through written form or, um, or sharing your genius and when to use one or the other? If you do, please post them because it really fuels me here. I see you all there and it really fuels me here. So I'm gonna talk about a couple of my books and how they transformed my life and how they hindered my business. <laughs> so my first book, I, I don't have any more copies. I need to actually get more copies in physical form. Um, it is on digital form, it's on Amazon. It was an Amazon bestseller in the personal development and self-help region. It did um, get me noticed by a couple agencies and a couple things. Um, I was even, going through my Kindle and like just reading random books on an airplane once. And I was so moved by this writing. I, <laughs> I handed it to my, my kid's dad and I was like, read this. Oh my goodness. And they read it. Oh, cool. Yes, Lisa. Thank you. So they, he read it and he's like, this is just genius. Oh my goodness, this perspective is wonderful. What book is it? And I'm like, I don't know, but I want to know this person. <laughs> so he looked back to see what book I was reading, right? And it was my book. Okay, so From Bondage to Happiness is a memoir book, but it's also a teaching book because I love teaching and it's all about my deeper work of shifting the perspective on childhood abuse, on my own childhood abuse and, and how I shifted that perspective and how I've come to healing. And it talks a lot about that. Now, I'm going to give you a pain point here on, on that book and how it came to be. So I have been working or when I was writing a lot and in other writings, I am working with Donna, who's my editor. I, as I've said earlier, like writing and grammar during those years, I was stumped. So one of my big blocks to being a writer, no matter what I was writing, even an email or a post and stuff was I, I, I'm going to look like a fool, right? I, I can't write. So early on, I admitted this to myself. I accepted this part of me. And then I also accepted that I'm a genius teacher and trauma transformer and, and I've, I've worked it, right? I'm great at what I do. So that my, my value was there. So admitting what your weaknesses are when it comes to whatever you wanna do, whether it's program speaking or writing, right? Is, is genius, really. 
because then you can get the support that you need and we all need different support and so it's not a cookie cutter thing in the program empire builder we're going to figure out your own secret sauce to success which means you're going to form a team around you that is going to support you so you don't have to do everything right so i have donna and donna um was editing and working my original plan for my original book actually I two that I've been working on. One, which is now going to be my thesis, which has never been published, which is all about the six personal power zones, all about my genius. And because it was about my genius and so, so valuable to me at the time, it still is, but so valuable to me at the time to publish it was like a no. And I'm really happy I didn't because now I can use that material and further and, and increase it more for my dissertation and and all of that but I was working on that with her I was working on the amazing you curriculum workbook so actually each chapter of my program each workbook of my program is a build on chapter full of stories and informations and tips and everything that is a book and I had every intention to publishing that so it's like ready Right, but there's some things that needed to change. I'm gonna to get to that and, and why that hasn't published yet. Um, besides, it's just really part of my signature system. And, and to get that is super valuable because it's life transformational and I wanna work with people, group, or privately through that program or at least give them all the good juices of the, the walk through the power zones, right? So that's another book I was working on. Well, this book, the from bandage to happiness came up because I basically got a dare. So if you're like me, the energy behind your book is going to be visible. So when you write a book, you want to make sure that you're in a really good energy. I think this book is phenomenal. And I think that it would have been even more successful than the time it was on the Amazon bestseller list number one. I think it would even have been more successful if and when this energy didn't come from it. So in the program, we're going to be clearing this energy away, right? Because that's part of my genius is helping you tap into the part of you that is able to really choose and create the life that you desire to live to break through those barriers. So we're going to tap into that. For me, I was sitting across from this woman. Okay, this woman who eventually I found out wasn't my best friend and she was questioning my faith. And at the time, I was so wanting to prove to my community, I live in a very Christian based community here, that I was Christian enough, even though I have this huge understanding of, of the etheric realm and everything, I wanted to prove Right? And when we're trying to prove anything, we're just in, I am proving, improving mode, which is a seeking, fixing mode. And I went into the book with that in mind. So instead of speaking from this openness of my truth, I wrote the book to convince her, this woman who I saw as just this pinnacle of an amazing Christian woman, wrote this book with that energy behind it, that proving energy behind it, and how you write your book is really important. So in the Empire Building Program, we're gonna clear that proving energy, we're gonna clear that I'm writing it for anybody else, we're gonna clear that, especially if you're writing, you wrote the book to prove yourself that was the energy. Right, right, which was then all about um, this this convincing energy. And when we're in a convincing energy, we are trying to truly convince ourselves, right? <laughs> like this is what I know from my amazing clients, right? We're really trying to convince ourselves. It's not really about anybody else. So I wasn't coming from my genius. Yes, Lisa, exactly. I wasn't coming from my genius. And I've done a lot of energy work around that book in the coming years to, to shift that energy in it as I've owned. I know the energy through this 
is, is that. So I was trying to prove that I've overcome. I was trying to prove my relationship with God. I was trying to prove the transformational work. And when you're coming from that space, then no matter if you're writing a program or a book or putting together a signature speech, like it doesn't land effectively because it's not of truth. So we're going to come from this place of landing on truth. So you're channeling. Yes. So when you're writing your book in the empire program or anytime, you don't really need the empire program to write your book, right? Come from a place of channeling your genius, even if it's a memoir. So now let me shift the focus a little bit and talk about the memoir. So I didn't use my book necessarily to write a memoir, although it is absolutely about my transformation and coming from, from healing. I used my book to really share pieces and genius of the transformational formula that I use to transform trauma. So if you go and you buy From Bondage to Happiness on Amazon right now, you can download it and you'll feel that, right? But also know that underneath that, I had a little bit of, little bit, a lot of bit of proving energy that then um, really backfired on me. Because what I learned from that is you don't want to prove, you don't need to prove, you, you just tap in that genius. Now, there's another reason to write your story. And I used collaborations book. I, I used collaboration books about, yes, I'm still alive. You're watching the, the real deal, Martha, to share my story, really, to really, really share hard parts of my story, not to make money, not to convince anybody to buy anything from me, not to prove myself like I was just talking about to myself or anybody else, but just to truly just let my truth, my story just get out there. So there was, it was diluting, transmuting the shame and the guilt and the pain that went along with surviving trauma. So let me just say the first book that I collaborated on is God's miracles. And I actually talk about how I was told I would never have kids because of an event that happened when I was um, 11. And I talk about that event. This is the first time I ever, ever, ever live shared about the most traumatic event in my life, which literally I still clear stuff with today. Okay, today. I have actually a session with my coach set up to up level me to the next level of my own awareness within myself for Saturday because this event was so show stopping for me. But the first time I shared it and the transformation and the beginning parts of my healing from it were in this book. And there's a lot of other ones here. But what ultimately happened is they told me from that experience I was never going to be able to have kids. I got cancer at 21 and then um, did a lot of inner healing work, physical healing work, got to know my body wisdom, which is everything I teach about in the Amazing You program and what we'll tap into in the Empire program for you and your stories. And then I, I wrote about how I have two amazing girls, right? Yay, God's Miracles. The second book that I wrote in is with my dear friend, Angel Quintana. Oh my goodness, this picture is just so funny. So, memoirs. And in this book, I wrote about how my worth, I was reclaim, I was claiming my worth for the first time in my life. I reclaimed my worth from my sexuality. Okay, and not even my sexuality, but but just that's all that's you know all I was good for so when you're raised in a situation that I was raised in my worth was very much tied to um how sexy I was um how promiscuous I was and I couldn't own it I couldn't have fun with it I couldn't express it fully because I was blocked so I reclaimed mine and many other people's got many letters from this book um worth you know and I think the title of mine let's see my chapter I'm not quite sure where it was oh oh my gosh I totally just turned to it the first thing so 
There's the title. My worth is not between my legs. Like, oh my God, right? But it wasn't like this whole book. This shares that I'm the trauma transformer. It shares this fully expressed. It really, all of it, all of these books of my um, old thing, it's still sharing the signature system, soul fitness system is what I called it then, divine in nine, right? It was still divine in nine. It's old, old, old school. But, um, and I really still, I talk a lot about spirit. I talk a lot about Jesus. I talk a lot about God, which um, is all true, but it's an inner walk. It was still coming from a place of proving when it came to business, right? And trying to fit into being acceptable. But at the same time, I was transforming my own story, right? And so by writing this, I got to reclaim myself. So the value of me selling something or connecting with an ideal client was important, but it wasn't um, it wasn't the end all be all for this writing. For this writing, the end all be all wasn't the pain point or was the pain point, right? Because I was transforming that pain point. So sometimes you can write a book not to speak, not to put together a program but to truly, truly transform your life and just take a stand for who you are. And that's even more powerful when you're not from that proving or improving, I am proving state. So we're gonna clear that in the Empire Builder, all right? The last collaboration, I actually have done a couple more, but the last collaboration that I wanna talk about that was really, a that I wrote for me was from failure to success. So this was a friggin' miracle. So I'm at the end of my marriage and I am just, I'm feeling like an absolute failure. Um, my programs haven't made as much money as I wanted them to. Like weird things would happen. Like the final time that I launched, um, well not the last time, because the last time I launched it was like three weeks ago and I'm gonna launch it again in a couple weeks. But, um, or three months ago. But the first, I don't even know what, how to explain it. That time when I launched the group program for Amazing You, it had um, really just solidified online. The, the written material and everything was just done. The workbook was just done. Donna and me had just finished that. I had just been awarded America's premier expert in self-care for that work. I had just began speaking and I was, I was really sharing that. I was still using my story, the pain point, to connect with my people, which blocked me from connecting to the people that really needed me because I was connecting to the people that were in the place of being broken, broken and unwilling to see the possibility yet of them investing in themselves and the need for them to invest in themselves the way that is required to work with me. So, um, so it was kind of working, but not really. I had a few people join and I opened it up to everybody that had ever been in the program and a couple of those joined. And I was just bummed because it was the biggest launch I had ever done. Like professional videographers, I mean, the whole thing, right? This beautiful package, all about overcoming sexual abuse and overcoming abuse and overcoming trauma. And, and oh, I was so proud of it, but I was just stuck in that pain point like I was talking about in yesterday's webinar. And I, it, it didn't go that well to the outside world. Some miracles happened, like I literally was sitting in the Three Bears, which is like a shopping mall, a shopping center, not center, grocery store, and I was pounding on my thing, and I was like, God, if you don't give me $200,000 now, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm not telling my story again. <laughs> and I literally walked home, and my husband at the time had had the keys to my now house, which we got for an extremely great deal. And now I have, so I, so God provided, right? And I went on to offer um, a couple scholarships into the program and, and do some other things where um, I, I gifted it away to some of the people that I saw that were inspired, but, um, 
couldn't afford it because of the lack mentality. And so I, I, but I was feeling like a failure because I didn't know yet the problem of connecting. I wasn't yet in my genius, right? And I'm literally going through this transformation, laying on the floor, feeling like my, my marriage is a failure. My, my, <laughs> as, a, as a mother, I felt like a failure because I didn't keep the marriage together as a wife, as an entrepreneur, as like, like everything. And my go-to pattern, my low go-to pattern, my story, my childhood story is, um, you're a failure, right? So all of this stuff was coming up. And my girlfriend called um, and she said, <laughs> Emma said, hey, I have this book and it's actually going out for publishing in like two weeks, but God keeps telling me you have to be in it. And I'm like, okay, what's the book? Failure, the key to success, right? So this book, I, I'm, I'm written up with Michael um, Beckwith, which is, um, he's a transformational leader, just an incredible. Um, the authors in this book are amazing. And is, hey, a whole bunch of my dreams came true with this book. Um, two of these books went um, bestsellers as well. So, um, E.I. Hunter has amazing books. She's been in writing books for a long time. And I was just like, huh, that's so funny. Cause I literally five minutes before was in my closet, banging my hands and feet, like throwing a fit, like a baby girl, just letting it out of my body. This is a body release technique, but I was letting it out of my body saying, I'm done. Like, what is the point for feeling all of this? I'm so done. Boom. I wrote this book. So she calls me up and she asked me to do this. So from, um, so I write a chapter in here and she did just a beautiful, beautiful job of, um, of this. And my chapter is called wonder storm. And I say, what is success anyway? Like, what is it? Are you successful when you make a million dollars? Most people would think so. But what about when you win the lottery or inherit their million dollars? What about those people? Hey, right? so here is more of like a storytelling here, but I also go back to, to my story and, and how I define success in different ways. And this, I used it to heal or begin healing a deeper part of myself that needed to be expressed that needed to be publicized, that needed to be taught about, to inspire others into their truth, and to inspire me out of the failure ring into the success ring. All right, so this was like four years ago, great book. So in those areas, I've used my pain point to to really, really share from my heart. And I've used writing, I've used books to write that success. So I had one client when I was doing the Empire program last, she um, was abused in the church. And she wanted to write her book, she wrote her book in order to, to transform that. But in writing her book, all of her stuff came up. All of the stuff came up, right? So then it's like, oh my goodness, we had to backtrack and go into the Amazing You program so she could learn the tools to transform her stuff so she could powerfully tell her story without going into that proving, improving, and disempowered place or just stopping altogether because her story not only was important for her to tell and transform through it, but when it gets out into the world, she wants it to, or she wanted it to really hold the impact that she desired, which required her to have stepped into a deeper truth within herself, right? So let me see what you guys are saying. Martha, I was told the same thing after my kidnapping, but I did not get pregnant from another rape, but he died and he never was able to have another. I don't understand that, but... Um, maybe it was something that I had to, to do. The definition of a success, Lisa, thank you so much. Um, 
so you get so far to the top of TJ, to the top of the mountain, and it doesn't feel like success, and then, right, so like we get to the success, and then the success kind of feels like the bottom of the mountain again. Is that what you're saying, Lisa? Yeah, boom, boom. And that's like up leveling. So that's where all the other tools that I'm going to teach you in the Empire Builder that um, I will be reminding people that have gone through the amazing. I'll be reminding you guys if you've been through the amazing you program and you enter the Empire Builder with me, we'll be reminding you of those tools and when to use them. And then I'll be teaching people within the Empire Builder how to use the tools to transform yourself as you write your story and also break through the barriers of launching your program, launching your book and launching your signature speak speech. So it's coming from the place of your genius. Now I have a books that I've currently read wrote about my genius and that's what put together your own university and the love letters, right? Is my book ageless beauty, timeless truths with Dr. Diadio Moses. So that was a collaboration sort of Dr. D and I got together. She is a, um, she's one of my spiritual mamas. She is an, an incredible teacher an international author and speaker and she was like, you have so many tools and tips and you have so many, so much genius inside you. Let's pull that out. So we pulled it out in little bite-sized chunks and I wrote some of the tools that I use in my programs and I refer back to my programs. I refer back to my website. I refer back to my gifts over and over and over and over again in that book. And even though it's not a story and it's tips and it's tools and it turned into a major program, um, a membership site, right? A rebuilder site. I, um, I think it was the first book that I've published that um, really encapsulates my genius. Now from bondage to happiness does, but it also encapsulates my pain points. This is my story, I'm getting it out to heal, but more of a, this is my genius, you can use it to empower your own life. You can step into the genius. Does those two kind of roadways to book writing make sense to you all? If you're still on here? And why it's so important to know that true purpose of why you're writing your book, which runway you want to be on, if it's for sharing your genius and promoting your programs and your books, or if it's to heal, right? Yes, good, thank you, Lisa. Or if it's to heal, and then if it is to heal, then I have to see what time it is. Oh, I have eight minutes before my client. Um, if it is to heal, that's beautiful, own it. Own it, own it, own it. If it is to share your genius and to inspire people to take action into your programs, then beautiful, own it. What you do from there shifts and changes, right? So I give different options in the Empire training that I gave last week. You can get um, full access to it at antikalibby.com forward slash empire dash webinar, okay? And then if you're interested in joining me in writing your book, in doing these clearings, in creating that master map plan on how to use your book to promote your business or heal yourself or just share your inspiration, and the learning, what we're gonna dissect the different ways to publish your book. I've gone every route. We're gonna, um, I have um, different people that I've hired and teamed up with in order to um, lead you in the right direction or give, me, give you an open doors if you choose to take those doors, any door that you choose to take, including a complete like branding, um, videography, promotion, push, boom, explode your book methodology. So in the Empire program, we're gonna be talking all about that and how to do that and the different ways that you do that. If you join now for the Empire program, there's a few spots open where I'm gonna give you a two hour private VIP, kind of mapping out your plan right now, mapping it out, what to do with it and how to use it. If you want more information about the Empire Builder program, 
and joining me live for it. We're gonna start next week. And if you know anybody that has either had a book and wants to take it further, they can work with me on putting together their signature speech to take it further. That's another part of this program I'll be talking about tomorrow. Or um, if you're ready to do this with your book program or signature speech, register and let's get started. Bye. You're welcome, Martha. You're welcome, Lisa.